Hi all, in this video we are going to look at Minitool Power Data Recovery Software. It is a recovery software from Minitool and while testing this software, this software was able to recover data from my hard disk which I formatted more than once while installing Windows and I formatted it again to make it as my backup disk for my system. It was able to recover data from this hard disk. So it is a powerful software and we will discuss more about that later on. So let's jump into this video. First of all some basic info. It is a free recovery software like all the recovery software claim to be with a limit of 1 GB. So if you want to recover data up to 1 GB this software is free and more than 1 GB you need to pay for this software. So let's look at this software. First of all about the UI of this application. It is simple but it lacks the finishing touches. It looks crude. At least they could have changed the color of the sidebar. So it will be a little bit more appealing to the eyes. So that's the UI. And about the things shown on the UI. It is very simple and easily understandable on the front screen itself you can find all the scanning option provided by this application. That is the all hard disk partition, folders, recycle bin and lastly your entire hard disk. And from the left side if you choose scan settings it will show some more option which can be used to improve this scan result like extra scanning for specific type of files. Like I mentioned it is providing all sort of scanning. Folder scan, disk scan, partition scan, all sort of scanning. But whatever scanning you choose it will still do a complete disk scan. In my case I choose folder scan on my 1TB hard disk and the time took for this scan is more than 2 hours. And for this old hard disk which is around 300 gigs it took around more than 1 hour to do a scan. And the time taken for the scanning will depend on your hard disk size. So if you got around 1TB hard disk it will take more than 2 hours to do a full scan. After scanning on the result page it will contain mainly two folder deleted folder then lost files folder and the thing to note is that the files inside the deleted folder cannot be recovered only the files which are in the lost files folder can be recovered and you can check whether these files can be recovered or not by checking the small icon on each file cross means can't be recovered exclamation means can be recovered. In the lost files section you can find categories and files that can be recovered in these categories. You can either recover individual files from these categories or recover the entire category or the entire folders. And to recover the files it is easy. Just select the files or folder that you want to recover and right click and select recover. Then select the location where you want to save these files and wait till the recover to complete. But there are some issues. First of all the files that can be recovered is named as recovered file. So identifying each file is a hectic job especially if you got lot of files and the preview is only available for PNG and JPG categories. For other files there is no preview and to recover the file you need to recover the entire thing as the files are named as recovered file you can't be sure which is the file that you are looking for and another thing is that for some scanning it will even show the files which are already inside our hard disk as lost files and another thing i want to share is that the files will be recovered without any problem the files will have size and the name will be there that is required dot whatever file you are requiring but the issue is that the file will not be usable in zip file the file will be there the size will be there it will occupy the file size but we can't open this zip file when we try to open this file it will show an error the same for video files you can't play the video files on photo section you can't open the photo so sometimes it will show the file is recovered and if you try to open that recovered file it will not be usable so it is just for namesake it's going to recover the file so we can't recover 100 percentage of our lost data by using this application but the thing is that i'm trying this application on a hard disk which I formatted for more than twice and I reinstalled windows on this hard disk 
formatted it again and copying all these data and all sort of things so i can really complain about this application about not recovering the datas from this old hard disk or recovering datas which is distorted or which is not usable because for recovery software to work 100% on the hard disk which you need to recover the data from you should try to minimize the write operation because if you do more write operation to the hard disk the chance of recovering the files will be lost so i can't really complain about these issues based on my experience so now for the verdict this mini tool power data recovery software is a powerful recovery software if you want to recover some files but it is not a very simple and easy to use application it is not like this press a button and it's going to recover the file it's not like that it is a very hectic and time consuming process it is hectic because after scanning all the files will be named as recovered file so after recovering file you need to sort out all these file to find the one which is deleted and the second thing is that based on your hard disk the time taken for the scanning will be different so it's going to be a time consuming process at the end if you want to recover some precious data this software this mini tool power data recovery software is a good option that you should try so that's it that's all about this video guys i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe